this is my workaround for the fact that I just cannot get on with valve grinding sticks and suction cups. I've stuck um, some velcro onto the top of the valve and some onto the stick and I'm going to give it a go and see what happens. It's either going to work or it's not going to work. Oh. It's already a million times better. Okay, back on valve grinding. I had a bit of a rant last time um, because I was struggling <coughs> to get the valve lapping tool to stick to the valve, which was causing me some frustration. So um, the method I came up with for getting around that was a bit, well, it's a bit Mickey Mouse. But it seemed to work, and the method is to thoroughly clean the head of the valve. In this case, I'm using Mets. Uh, yesterday, I used um, brake cleaner, but it seemed to soften the adhesive on the Velcro pads that I stuck on the edge of the end of the valves, um, which still worked, but it just meant that it was a race against time before the uh, adhesive became too soft to stick to the valve properly. So I'm going to let that dry for a moment. These are the velcro pads that I pinched from Caroline's workroom without permission. Um, and they're just nicely round. And the idea is to stick it to the head of the valve and then likewise stick a velcro pad to the sucker and that way it allows you to grip onto the end of the valve without the sliding about and messing about involved with trying to get a sucker to stick to a concave slightly textured surface and also I don't know how good these quality tools are, I mean this is a Draper one but it's plastic shaft and the rubber suckers look alright but I don't know, just didn't seem to um, want to grip, get a grip. So I've stuck the velcro onto the rubber sucker and now the idea is stick the two together, a bit harder than that but stick them together and um, you get a good grip on the valve. Now I'm just going to clean this up, put a bit of oil on it and uh, stick it in the right shaft and uh, get to grinding. 
I'll spare you this bit. We're now in a position where um, the valves have been lapped. Um, so I can reinstall the valves into the head, which is the first bit of real installation since the project began. Everything else has been dismantling or sent off for repair. Um, I'm still waiting for parts I ordered two weeks ago. So I'm still waiting on cam chain, which um, the supplier sent incorrectly. And I'm waiting for a whole bunch of stuff to come for rebuilding the rocker covers, uh, such as um, O-rings, springs, washers, retaining pins. Um, I'm waiting for a gudgeon pin. I mean, everything just seems either to be on back order or just very slow at dispatch. So um, they should be here this week. Though I've chased them all up, but we can get on and um, fit the valves back into the head. Um, each valve, I'm going to wash in um, white spirit, including the springs and the washers. Um, Re-oil it and then put it into the head so we know it's clean. Um, as I say, I did did wash down the uh, wipe down the valves after I lapped them but I just want to make sure that all the all the grinding paste is off. I've already washed the head. Um, I got a got a shower and a re-oil last night after the lapping was finished. So that we know is clean. Um, so yeah so get on, wash each valve one at a time, install it, do the next one, install it, and so on and so forth. And uh, hopefully we won't run into any problems. I think I'm organised now. Um, clean valve parts, which are going to get re-oiled and put back in. I have the bag they came out of. And every time we've taken anything apart, I put it in a bag, and I've labelled this as I look at it as the rear of the cylinder on the right-hand side, so we know which valve it is, and it's been lapped into that particular valve. So the idea is, bearing in mind I have not done this, um, is just lube up the valve stem with engine oil. It's probably way too much, but it's better to have too much rather than too little. In my haste, I um, let me blow that a bit. I uh, got ahead of myself, got all excited, oiled the valve, slid it in, and then realised a I didn't have the compressor ready, uh, so I had to go and set that up. And secondly, that I hadn't fitted the new um, valve stem oil seals. So I'm going to do that now and get that out of the way um, before I bollocks this up any further. I'm trying to put all the valves in and then discover. That um, it still needs doing. I know what I'm like, I get frustrated and force it, I'm just going to be gentle. Again, I suspect if you do this all the time you know you can just ram it on there or not, but I don't do this all the time. 
everything's kind of a new experience. Right, we'll try that one. If it goes well, I'll fit the other four, uh, the other three, just to make sure they're done. Bit on the head of that. Like I say, I don't really do this. It's not my thing, and my memory is terrible. So it's very easy for me to um, forget to do something. Just gently work that in. Without damaging the seal. There we go. Brilliant. Okay, so we'll just double check. That's the correct valve. Yep. So now it's case. I'm oiling and assembling. a paintbrush here but I have to be a bit careful that I don't leave hairs behind. It's not the best quality, it's just a cheap artist artist brush. Next on is the ring. Really matters which way around that goes. on that. We have the two springs. The top one will be the bottom one. Yeah, you can see the wear marks match. Okay. Okay. Clockwise and anti-clockwise. 